Hey guys, what's up? It's Taylor. Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. I went thrifting. Instead of doing just a regular come thrift with me, a regular thrift try on haul, I wanted... Oh my gosh. <laughs> anyway, so instead of just doing a regular come thrift with me and a regular thrifting try on haul, I wanted to step up my game. I'm so over hauls. I want to start incorporating a lot more fashion videos on my channel. So this was a lot of fun to do. I went to the thrift store and I went to Urban Planet, which is just a local cheap street style based clothing store around where I live. And all their stuff is super cheap. So the whole idea of this video is me styling the pieces that I found at the thrift store and at Urban Planet to show you guys how you can make really sick outfits with affordable clothes and clothes from the thrift store. You don't need expensive clothes for a fire outfit. I'm just giving you guys some outfit ideas and hopefully you can get some outfit inspiration. So this is gonna kind of be a lookbook, but based on thrifted clothes, if that makes sense. But let's just get into the outfits. So this is the first piece that I got at the thrift store. I'm gonna show this one first because I was just wearing it today. It's like this red, almost maroon Nike oversized crew neck. This was a size extra large. I got it in the men's section. So I love the sweatpants and leggings look, but sometimes it can get a little boring. So lately I've been trying to pair really cool leggings with sweaters. So I just paired this crew neck with this glossy pair of leggings. These ones are from Garage. They're like a shiny gloss material. These are also great dupes for leather leggings because your girl cannot afford leather leggings and they look honestly just as good and better if you're pairing them with sweatshirts. For me personally, I think this finish <laughs> looks a lot better with sweatshirts so i just have it paired with these leggings and the sweatshirt's really oversized so it comes down past your crotch and stuff i just really like the look of that and then i have it paired with my nike air force ones obviously if i'm wearing nike i gotta wear the nike sneakers and then also if weather is a lot colder where you live you can throw on a puffer this one is from Forever 21, but I actually got it from a thrift store earlier in the year, so that's really cool. This is the actual outfit that I wore today, and I just think it's really cute and casual. I would wear a fanny pack. I didn't wear one today with the outfit because I was at school, but if you're running around and doing errands and going out, this is the first outfit. Moving on to the next outfit. These are featuring two items that I picked up. So the first one is this white ribbed turtleneck bodysuit. I got that in a small, by the way. And then this really awesome Tommy Hilfiger crew neck I found at the thrift store. I'm so excited about this one. It is a men's size extra small, so it actually fits perfectly for me. This is another really casual sweater crew neck outfit. And I'm also wearing black jeans. When I wear turtlenecks, I personally like to tie my hair back. I think that's just what looks best on my face shape. But moving on, I paired this outfit with these Urban Outfitters gray, almost black wash denim mom jeans. So this is the full outfit. These two colors go really, really well together, especially for the fall. I personally paired them with Nike Air Force Ones. Definitely gives off the model off-duty look. Like this is totally something Kendall Jenner, Hailey Baldwin, they would definitely wear this outfit especially with the hair like this and it's really vintage looking too if you guys have been watching me for a while you know i love my vintage outfits like 90s inspired it's just perfect for a casual day especially for school So the next outfit is again featuring two items that I picked up. The first one is the same white turtleneck I showed in the last outfit and then I just paired it with this Dolls Kill Lock and Key necklace. So this was from Urban Planet and then I paired it with these Adidas Men's Windbreaker sweatpants. These pants are my absolute favorite and if styled really well, they're super flattering on the female body. So I personally just like to tie mine extremely tight so it flatters your body more and you definitely need to wear 
wear with tight clothes so you get the more feminine vibe with masculine clothes this is the full outfit so i just have the white turtleneck paired with the silver gold chain and these sweatpants from the men's section i found and they were like 12 dollars size small i just paired them with my white nikes i think this is really really cute and casual and i also just kept my hair in the low bun again really flattering when wearing turtlenecks and just such an easy way to make your outfit look really cool with barely trying and again you could also wear a fanny pack over this this one is just from walmart like everywhere sells them now and you could also throw on a black puffer over it would still look really good and doesn't really take away from the outfit since you do have the white and it's really prominent in the outfit Moving on to the sweatsuit. This one is one of my favorites. The item that I got is white jogger sweatpants. They were from Urban Planet, size small, and I believe they were like $10. With that, I paired it with this white crop crew neck sweater I got from H&M. It's a men's size small, and I cropped it myself. And then I also just paired it with this silver lock and chain from Dolls Kill and threw on a fanny pack. I kept my hair in a low bun. The star of the show is definitely these shoes. These shoes are not for everyone. I'm really aware of that. People here probably think these are ugly as fuck and they look like moon boots. They do, but I love them. I think they're really, really cool. They're from the brand Knock Wool. They're really based off of the Naked Wolf ones, but they're not the same brand, but they also kind of have the same name as a brand, so they might be sister brands. I'm not really sure, but I got these from Dolls Kill and just something about the all white outfit just really gets to me. I think it's really cute. This outfit, you're pretty much wearing pajamas, but somehow it's acceptable to to go out and it looks really cool it's really trendy it's really stylish and it's just a really cool street outfit and honestly wearing really cool and intense shoes like these really just amps up your outfit from a 9 to 11 it just makes it so much better and more cool So the next outfit again is two items. First is this sweater. I didn't get it in this video, but I did get it like a month ago. It was just Tara O'Neill merch. Shout out to her. Also paired it with shell joggers. They're like cargo pant joggers from Urban Planet. These were like $20. They have a buckle. They just fit really nice. They cinch at the bottom. They have a drawstring. Just like literally everything about these pants is perfect. They're like my dream pants. Like that sounds so annoying but so i love pairing pants like these with a basic black sweater and white sneakers you could throw on a beanie if it's cold out you could put a puffer on and again all of these outfits look super good with a fanny pack i just love fanny packs honestly you either hate them or you love them but i love them i think they make your outfit look so fucking cool and you just look like you're ready to go. <laughs> Honestly, this one is probably my top three. I wear this outfit like once a week and I just think an all black outfit is just really classy and you look really freaking cool. The next outfit, I'm wearing the same pants, but this time I'm pairing it with this Adidas men's t-shirt. I believe this is a size large and I got that from the thrift store. I paired it with this Dolls Kill necklace again and I'm also wearing my Doc Martens. This to me, again, is another very model off-duty look. This is inspired by a photo I found of Kendall Jenner on Pinterest. I'll insert it here. It was just everything to me, just something about it. It was just so classy and cool so I wanted to recreate it you could pair it with some really cool sunnies this is a better outfit for if you live in warmer climate but if not you could also pair puffer coat with this I think a white one personally would look really really good or if you have a long fluffy coat that would look amazing too I just have my hair in a low bun as well it's such a head turner outfit to me t-shirt is kind of big so it would definitely look a lot better if you had a smaller t-shirt, but you guys get the idea. The next outfit is another just really basic, easy to wear outfit. It's featuring these really cool reflective shell joggers from Urban Planet. I got these in a size small. So they're just black and then they have this reflective PVC tape across 
the legs here and then there's a one that goes all the way down the side i just really like these they're easy to wear you can wear them to a festival you can wear them to a rave to a club out in everyday life you can wear them to school they're so versatile i just paired it with this light gray turtleneck personally i think this would look really good with a crop white long sleeve whether it's turtleneck or not i don't have one of those in my closet otherwise i would have paired it with that this is like the closest thing I had and then obviously I live in Canada it's colder so I paired it with a puffer coat and just my Nike Air Force ones again just a really cool casual outfit kind of look like I'm wearing a snowsuit but it's such a vibe and it's really cute moving on to these pants these are from urban planet as well in a size small and they were twenty dollars they're just black they are fitted all the way down to the bottom they're cinched at the bottom you tie them at the waist they're high-waisted they just have white and a hot pink stripe going all the way down so for this outfit i just paired it with this black bodysuit the same knock wool platform boots and this neon pink beanie from um, I think it's from Urban Planet as well. To me, this is just really a fun outfit. Like, you could have not worn the bright hat and it would have been cool, but adding the hat definitely knocked this outfit up a few points. I just think it's really cool. And honest to God, if I was going to Snow Globe, or an outside festival or something like that, I would wear this. Imagine me with a neon pink puffer on, like that would be 10 out of 10. But yeah, I really like this outfit. I think it's really cute, really fun, really girly. And this outfit specifically, I just think this is a really cute winter outfit if you're doing something outside. Moving on to the last piece in this whole haul is this sweatshirt. I got this from Urban Planet in a size small and I believe it was $20. I really like this because it's not just like basic crew neck hoodie. It has balloon sleeves and it's hoodie material but it's a turtleneck. So I thought that was really cool and I've never really seen a sweater like that before. To me, it was really Kanye inspired. Like I feel like he would totally wear something like this and I just paired it with these black denim Joni jeans that have two massive holes in the knees from Topshop. You could wear the outfit like this and it would be really cute but I cannot stop here. <laughs> I think it would look really cool with this corduroy army green jacket that I got from Zara. I just love the all black and then the pop of green. I think it's so cool. This color especially is really in for fall. This is probably more of your guys style and definitely a more wearable outfit. I would wear this maybe if I'm like doing something with my family or if I need to like look nicer. I've also wore it with those glossy jeans I wore in the first clip from Garage with these sneakers and with my IMG Sherpa coat and it looked really good too. So there's multiple ways you could wear this to make it a look. <laughs> All right, so that is all the outfits. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe found some inspiration for some outfit ideas for all those people balling on a budget like me. You can make really cool outfits out of cheap stuff. So if you're new to my channel, subscribe. If you like this video, also give it a thumbs up. Maybe I will make this a series on my channel. This was really fun to film and I really liked it. So let me know. But yeah, I guess I'll just talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.